We obviously going to talk some NFL. And uh, Rob G, explain the Sports Illustrated article uh, that we're going to play off of. So Sports Illustrated shared a column on Wednesday listing the top 25 Super Bowl performances by a quarterback. Now, obviously, there's been some great ones. So there are a few guys who were on there multiple times. Tom Brady was on there four different times. Joe Montana, three. Kurt Warner, twice. And the top three in order were Steve Young for his Super Bowl, Doug Williams, which was great. Doug Williams, that, that what was that, second quarter, which was uh, unbelievable. Yeah, that was perfect. Phenomenal. That was unbelievable. And, and then number three, kind of shocking and, until you really think about it, Nick Foles for what he did in nah, that Super Bowl. He made every throw yes. in that Super Bowl. And he caught Chris, a You touchdown. remember that. Yeah, he was incredible. And Tom yeah, Brady you got to give one. Foles credit. Yeah. You so those were the top right, three. Right, threw three touchdowns and caught and one. And caught one, right. right. Yeah, that, there's no doubt you got to give him props But what's funny is when you comb through the top 25, one name that is absent, shockingly, is Chris Broussard's greatest quarterback of all time, Patrick yes. Mahomes. I mean, not best. listed or the best not quite quarterback. The goat, yeah. Not listed amongst the top 25 Super Bowl performances by a quarterback. Okay. Okay. Well, Rob G. Parker has an incredible statement you're about to make, Rob. Well, I'm not totally surprised by this at all because Patrick hasn't had that moment and Sports Illustrated just proved that that they could pick 25 other quarterback or moments dealing with the quarterback in the history of the NFL and Patrick Mahomes not be attached to one of them. I mean, as that's not telling, it tells you about Patrick Mahomes. And so he's won two Super Bowls. Nobody's taken that away from him. And he's won two Super Bowl MVPs, okay? But during his three Super Bowl appearances – 61.8 completion rate, five touchdowns, four picks, been sacked seven times, and a quarterback rating of 79.7. Hardly, read those again. Can you read those again to me? Five touchdowns, four picks, seven right. sacks, 79.7 passer rating. Okay. And my point is this. If you're talking about the regular season, I'm with you on Patrick Mahomes. But if you're talking about the Super Bowl, I would take Eli Manning over Patrick Mahomes. What? Any day. What? Any hour, any time. That's Eli we, Manning. We know who's not going to be a GM in the NFL. Eli Manning <laughs> is the man when you talk about a quarterback in those big <laughs> moments. I don't care about his regular seasons. <laughs> Eli Manning. 96.2 quarterback oh rating, God. three touchdowns, one interceptions. Here's the best part. He beat Chris's GOAT twice. He's beaten Tom Brady twice. Uh, Eli Chris's Manning's goat. has everybody's goat two more. of the greatest throws in Super Bowl history, including that pass to Manningham. And baby guy, oh, David Tyree, that was lucky. That wasn't even to win the game. He still had to throw a touchdown to Plaxico Burris to win the Super Bowl. He beat the 18-0 Patriots. Nobody was supposed to win. Tom Brady laughed when they said uh, how many points the Patriots were going to score in that game. And Eli Manning has been a better producer in the Super Bowl than Patrick Mahomes, and I would take Eli any day, any day over Patrick Mahomes in a Super Bowl. It ain't even close. Hogwash! You should be embarrassed by saying that. You should get up right now, walk off the stage, and hand the mic to Rob G and say, I'm done, I'm going home, you handle the show from here. Because that is a horrible take. Eli Manning wouldn't even take himself over Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl. You can read off all the stats you want. Nobody would take Eli Manning over Patrick Mahomes. I ask every guest we have tonight and see what they say. See what they say. We're going to ask Greg Jennings at the bottom of this hour. Now, look, I don't want to take anything away from Eli. Eli, in the Super Bowl, he did win two Super Bowls. 
So we want to give him credit. I'm not trying to diss him. But I don't care how you slice it. He is not on the same level as Patrick Mahomes in any way, shape, or form. I'm not going to sit here and call the pass Tyree. I mean, because Eli made a great, just scrambling, getting away from the sack. He made a great throw. And Kyrie made an awesome catch. And so I don't want to sit here and diss Eli. I like Eli. But come on, man. Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes has had in both of his Super Bowl victories, he has had comebacks in the fourth quarter. Both of his Super Bowl victories, he threw two touchdowns in the fourth quarters. Two in each of the games. Two fourth quarter touchdowns when they were down 10 with seven minutes left against the San Francisco 49ers to rally them from an 11 from two from a 10 point deficit. Two touchdowns in the fourth quarter against the Philadelphia Eagles last year to rally them from what had been a 10 point deficit. Against the defense that was arguably the best in the league last year, as they led, they were historic in their sacks. And that San Francisco defense was a very good defense. I think both of them were number two in total defense, if I'm not mistaken, those years. So let's not act like Patrick Mahomes has been chopped liver. The one really bad game was Tampa Bay when his offense, and I'm, no excuses, but his offensive line was banged up, and the, the, the Buccaneers were all over. They got stomped 31-9, I think was the score. So no, no excuse for that. But he was great last year. He only threw for 180-something yards. That's but great. he had three touchdowns. Yeah, because he had three touchdowns, no picks, and a win. Like, he was really good. And then, now, like I said, the two touchdowns in the fourth quarter to come back and win. And then he started off poorly against the Niners. Two, two interceptions in the first three quarters. But when it was... Gut crunch in time. He came through with the two touchdowns and the late rally. And so, no, I mean, I, right, he's just a better quarterback than Eli Manning. Chris, every, the every, numbers don't bear way. it out. Fine. Eli I don't care what Manning, the numbers say. Eli the numbers Manning say is that a better the, quarterback the, the, in the Super Bowl than Patrick Mahomes. It ain't even close. You're right. It it's not even it close. Ain't even Patrick close. Mahomes is way better. That's the numbers, why, say, that's why the numbers as, say, Rob, that Brock Purdy – had a better season than Joe Montana or Steve Young ever had. Who's Chris, better? I'm Who's telling better? you about the Super Bowl. No, you're what, talking about numbers. Facts and feelings. Let's but watch the game Sports and say Illust who's better. Sports it ain't Illustrated even put out 25 moments, 25 quarterback moments of Super Bowls, and Patrick Mahomes, that Chris just said, uh, One in publication, the fourth quarter, Rob. He don't, that don't mean he, nothing to me. He don't even rate. He not even in the top ten, not even in the top fifteen, of not what, even in the moments? top twenty. He Those not even moments. in the top twenty-five. Hold on. Well, I can give that, you another. How could he not Hold be on. in the top twenty-five? Okay. You since you want to give a publication so much credit, I'm CBS, giving them credit. Hold on. No, no. C CBS Sports put out their top twenty quarterbacks in the Super Bowl, and guess who was rated ahead of Eli Manning? Patrick Mahomes. Baloney. Since you, it no, can't it, be possible. He was. It can't be because he beat the Patriots. He was actually twice, rated ahead, including the 18 and 0 Patriots. He was the only one that slayed him, and he was the one who delivered big signature throws. I'm still waiting for Patrick Mahomes to throw a signature throw in the Super Bowl. He doesn't have one. He has a four yard touchdown pass. That's it. I'm talking. Eli threw a pass to, to to Manningham that I still can't imagine was thrown or caught. It was the most unbelievable throw I've ever seen, and I've been covering this league since 1987. For all you young journalists, reporters, <laughs> wannabe journalists, reporters out there, this is an example <laughs> of someone. I, 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 Rob doesn't even believe what he's saying. What are you talking I, I, about? I know you, Rob. I've you don't know you for me? 30 years. You don't know that. What are you, you saying? You do not believe this. This is, a, this is the epitome. When you look up hot take, in the dictionary, this is what it would be. Rob it would Parker. be a picture of Rob Parker and this date underneath his name. Because this is only being said because he knows it's ridiculous, knows nobody believes it. Yeah, there's a little bit of evidence for him to grab a hold of. What little bit of evidence? Because he thinks, oh, this is going, nobody else has said this. 
This is going to really move the needle. I'm going to get a bunch of views on YouTube. What? And people what are, are going to say my name. Did I That's what that? this is all about. I can look at you, Rod. You do not believe this. Well, I do I believe when it. you say you something hey, with conviction. I'll, I'll you might this. as well be on, you might as well be at the Gotham Comedy <laughs> Club in Manhattan. Because you don't believe a word of what you just said. And young reporters, wannabes, just because you yell doesn't make it right. <laughs> and you know, I bro, read I, Rob no, like a wow. piece of mail. And I'm, I'm going to ask Rob G because he knows nobody has defended Eli Manning more than me. Rob, Would you, you agree you with that? You almost fought Rod Woodson. Exactly. The Hall of Fame when football Rob player. When Rob Woodson said that he wouldn't even wear his jacket or whatever if Eli got in. And I remember I, I pushed back on Rod about, about Eli because Chris – Ain't no way you can well, keep Eli Manning out of Eli, the Hall of Fame well, because of what he's way. been able to do I, in I the Super Bowl. I think he'll make it. There is a way. If he had done that in Minnesota, I don't think he's in the Super in the Hall of Fame. Jim if Bunker he beat the Patriots Super Bowls twice, too. Uh, if he beat I don't the Patriots know. I mean, he twice. was a mediocre regular season quarterback. It's not just Super Bowls. Maybe. I, I, like I said, I'm not going to have a problem when Eli makes it. But, Rob, you know everything in New York is magnified. I'm not sure he's this Hall of Famer if he does it in Indianapolis or somewhere else.